Hello, welcome to chapter one of the ECG course, the electrocardiograph. Let's talk about that word for a second, electrocardiograph. Well, let's break it down. Electro, as in electricity, okay, so we're talking about electricity. Uh, cardio, as in heart, and then we have graph, as in, you know, graphic or graphical image. So if you break down that word, it actually tells you what we're talking about. It's a graphical image of the heart's electrical activity. It's exactly what electrocardiograph or an electrocardiogram is. And we use the abbreviation ECG. Now, what, what is EKG? I've heard that before, right? So uh, ECG versus EKG. Well, I'll tell you, EKG comes from the uh, Deutsch spelling electrocardiogram. And the reason being is because Willem Einthoven, the inventor of the EKG, is from Germany. So EKG was the abbreviation used, and it kind of carried over into the States because we have other things that use the abbreviation ECG. So when you're talking about an EKG specifically, uh, a lot of times it makes it easier uh, to just use the abbreviation EKG. But depending on what you read, you'll see both abbreviations used. It doesn't make much of a difference. But now you have a little bit better of an understanding of why they use both abbreviations. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's a uh, piece of EKG paper. Uh, you've probably seen this before, and obviously there's no EKG printed on it. Well, looking at this paper, it, you'll notice that it is a grid system. And what I want you to notice is that you have bold lines, and then you have the not-so-bold lines, the smaller lines in red. And those dotted lines, there's five boxes going from... Uh, right to left, let me change my color here so you can see. From right to left, there should be five boxes, and also if you go up, there's five boxes. So it's five by five. There should be 25 boxes in each of the bigger boxes. Um, you'll also see these marks up top here, and I'll tell you what those mean in a, a few seconds. So breaking this down, I'm going to kind of maximize or enlarge one of those bold line boxes, okay? So one of the larger boxes. So again, you see that you have uh, the smaller boxes. You have five going across, and you have five going up. All right, it's important to understand that each box is one millimeter by one millimeter. Each of these small boxes here is one millimeter by one millimeter. All right, and if you're talking about time, because remember, whenever you're looking at this EKG paper from left to right, you're talking about time, and that's because it's being printed uh, and if we're talking about in the U.S., it's being printed at 25 millimeters per second. And I believe in, uh, in Europe, it's 50 millimeters per second. And that print speed kind of can tell us the time, uh, looking at this paper from left to right, how much time is being passed. So if that's confusing you, we'll kind of look at it here. One of these small boxes is 0 0.04 seconds. Take a look at what this is telling us. 0 0.04 seconds which is the same as saying 40 milli milliseconds. All right, so f if we multiply that by five, if we have five of those small boxes for one big box, you have 0 0.20 seconds or 200 milliseconds. And that's gonna become very important when we start interpreting uh, EKGs because the time, the intervals for so many different complexes is very important. And I'll, actually, we could tell the patient's heart rate based on uh, this grid system, using it to determine time alone. All right, so from left to right, we're talking about time. A small box is 0 0.04 seconds or 40 milliseconds, and the larger box, these big boxes that we have one maximized, is 0 0.20 seconds or 200 milliseconds. Now, if you're going up and down, you're talking about voltage, okay? And it's important to remember that two large boxes is one millivolt. That's what this information over here is telling us. Two large boxes is one millivolt going up. All right. And usually, uh, your machine, your monitor, will calibrate that. All right. Looking at these lines again on the top that we were talking about before, I said I'd come back to. Those are your one-second lines. All right. Because each large box is 0 0.20 seconds. Each one of these large boxes is 0 0.20 seconds. Five of them, if you multiply 0.2 times five, you get one, is one second. All right, so five large boxes is one second. So this is a three-second piece of paper um, that we got here because you can note that there's 15 large boxes. If you count these uh, from left to right, you got one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So this is a three second piece of paper. And again, it's gonna become very important. When you're interpreting EKG rhythms, a uh, six second strip is often used to uh, identify the rhythm. All right, so let's use a six second strip. And let's identify the heart rate here. Now I don't have an actual EKG on here. We're just gonna use these stars and pretend that the stars are the, the complexes that we're counting. So if we count the stars here, let's say that each one of these stars represents a heartbeat, all right? We've got one, two, three, four, five. We have six stars total, okay? So let's write that number down here, six. Now, how long is this EKG strip? Well, if we count it out, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six seconds, all right? Because remember, each one of these spaces is, use that information to identify the heart rate. Since we have a six second strip, we know that six seconds, six seconds times 10 equals 60 seconds or one minute. And we want our heart rate in beats per minute. So we have six beats here, we have six beats, and we want to get that how many beats per minute, right? So six beats, all we have to do again is multiply by 10 because we have a six second strip. So six beats times 10 equals 60 beats per minute. And that's just a very simple way to quickly get a rough estimate of the heart rate. It's not exact, and I'm gonna go over different methods to identify the heart rate as we go. So let's take a look at a faster one and a slower one. So on this top one, all right, how many stars do we have? Well, let's start with the, the whole star. Let's not count the half star yet. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, that's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I have a half star at the end and a half star at the, the uh, beginning, so we could say we have 10 if we add those together. All right, we have 10 stars, and again, we have a six second strip. One, two, three, four, five, six second strip. So we could take that 10, multiply it by 10. Remember, you're gonna multiply by 10, because you have a six second strip, and if you wanna know uh, how many beats per minute, you would multiply by 10, so 10 times 10 is 100. So this top one is about 100 beats per minute. All right, now looking at the bottom one here, how many stars do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, we have three and a half. So three and a half is 3.5. 3.5, times 10, because again, it is a six second strip, is gonna give us 35 beats per minute. So this bottom one is 35 beats per minute. All right, so that's a kind of a simple way to do it. And both of these are very regular rhythms. All right, very regular rhythms. And depending on you know the regularity or irregularity, your heart rate may uh, vary. And let's take a, a look at a couple examples of irregular rhythms. All right, so we have an irregular rhythm on the top and a regular rhythm on the bottom. Let's first do the rate uh, of the uh, rhythm on top. All right, so again, we're gonna start with the whole star here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, I have a half star at the end and a half star at the beginning. So if we added those together, we would have seven. All right, seven, and it is a six second strip. Seven times 10 is 70, all right? So this method, uh, this six second strip method is pretty good if you're uh, looking at an irregular rhythm. It works out pretty good because it's gonna give you an average. If we try to use a different method that we, we're gonna learn later on, you might not be uh, as accurate with irregular rhythms. Let's look at the bottom one. We have a one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven stars also in the bottom and that also gives us a heart rate of 70. So even though these uh, these two EKG rhythms look very different, and I know they're not, not actual rhythms, we're looking at stars here, but kind of use your imagination, they look very different, but uh, they both have the same exact heart rate, okay? And again, it's a rough estimate because of the method we're using. 
So that's it for uh, chapter one on the EKG graph. And in the next chapter, we're going to start getting into the different EKG leads. Um, and it's going to be very interesting. So go ahead and click chapter two if you're ready for that. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and please leave comments below.